Hello everyone, this is Thoughtful Salt, and this is Demo Man, a look at some of the indie titles on Xbox Live Arcade. Now, Shootout Reloaded. It's a dollar. Yeah. That, that's pretty much all it is. It's a game with lots of guns and lots of targets to shoot. Actually, I shouldn't say that. It doesn't have that many guns. But it does have a lot of targets to shoot. Now, how well does it do with the actual shooting mechanics? Well, we're gonna have to take a look at that. Not too many guns here Colt 45, Scar L, Thompson, M4A1, PP91, which I assume is the PP19, just with a different name. Now, the music in this game is actually kind of decent. You know, for what it is, it's an indie game. Not expected to be like triple A quality work here, but it's good for what it is. Alright, let's jump into some levels here. You get a selection of stages, and you start out with your favorite gun, and the objective is to get as high a score as possible. I'm doing alright already. <laughs> And one of the first things you'll notice is that the controls for this game are surprisingly functional. They are smooth for the most part. And the only issue I have with it is how uh, jerky sometimes moving side to side can be. Which I suppose is an analog to real life. I mean, if you actually move side to side while shooting a gun, I expect that your movement would be a bit jerky. Now. Now another one of the things that you notice right off the bat is the graphics. They aren't stellar, but you know what? They aren't the worst. And for an indie game of a limited budget, this is okay. I'm fine with this. There's nothing objectionable I would say here except for a few frame rate issues like you just saw. And the blocky character model as he's holding a gun. But, it's not a sin to have graphics like this. Sound assets are decent. That's about it. It's definitely not award quality work here, but hey. When you go into a game like this, what you're expecting is to have some nice arcadey fun and have it decently priced. And for a dollar, this is very, very decently priced. It's not necessarily my thing. And there's a couple more issues. Yeah, see? Right there. There are some hit detection issues in this game. And that can be a little aggravating sometimes when you're going for a high score and you're trying to score a perfect headshot and get a good time. And these hit detection issues, they mar the experience a tiny bit, but they're such a minor part. All you have to do is usually aim generally more towards the body and you'll do better. Now I do like that you can't fire until you've actually reloaded and that you actually have to manually prompt a reload. Now you could say like, well you do that in Call of Duty and stuff, yep. Generally true. But uh, in those games it's constantly reminding you big flashy icons, reload, reload, or it does it for you if you empty. So, this game, it's more of a simulator in that respect, and you know, it's kind of nice in that regard. Let's try a different course here. You know, graphically, this game may not be impressive, but it's certainly trying to deliver a variety of courses. Bullet noob. <laughs> oh, nice. But frame rate issues, hit detection, 
some dodgy graphics here and there. Like, look at that skybox. That's just, that's just weird. <laughs> Those, those aspects can put off some people who are trying to play this game. Because, I mean, even for a budget-priced game, you expect somewhat a decent quality invested into making certain levels work, right? Graphically, you expect it to be a complete package for the size of it. And this game, in focusing on a shooting course, it deliberately lowers our expectations of it. But within those expectations, we expect it to be of a reasonably high quality, and for some people, the issues I presented probably will be enough to put us off of this game. Let's try a different gun. Haha! -ha. Unfortunately, another bit of a problem I've noticed is that the reload sounds all sound the same <laughs> from what I've heard. I mean, did you hear? See? Right there. The exact same sound as the pistol reload. The music's nice, I guess. It's got a nice electronica ambient kind of thing going on for it. I kind of like that. I'm not objecting to it. Bow down. So there you have it. It has limited ambition, but at some points it fails to live up to that ambition, despite the low level it's set for itself. So would I recommend going the distance with this game? I'd be a bit cautious. As I've said, frame rate issues, graphical shortcomings, sound assets being a bit lackluster, the controls feeling sluggish sometimes. I'm gonna have to say, if what you saw here appealed to you, then by all means, go ahead with this game. But for everyone else, I advise you skip it. This has been Thoughtful Salt, and I'll see you next time.